In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to get bend lines on a multi-body part for nesting works. So nesting works supports multi-body parts, but you may have noticed missing bend lines on those bodies. With a few steps, I'll show you a way to get those bend lines on your nest. Here you'll see I have three bodies on this part. I have a top, a middle, and a bottom. Each one of these bodies will flatten with no errors. I'm going to go over to my configuration tab and create three new configurations, one for each body. Easiest way to create these configurations is you can highlight the configuration and you can actually use the control C, control V to create multiple configurations. So here I'll just rename these to one, two, and three. You could of course label them top, middle, bottom. All right, heading back over to our feature manager design tree. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to delete the bodies of these other two configurations. So the delete keep body basically just kind of temporarily uh, deletes these bodies. So we can use these later on here. So I delete those two bodies and I'm gonna right click on here and I'm just gonna flatten this piece. Okay, so that's gonna be our first configuration, right? If I switch my configurations over to the second configuration, you'll see I have all of my bodies back and that's because I created these configurations off of that default. Great. So for my second configuration, I'm gonna delete the top body and that bottom body. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that one. And I'm gonna head over to my configuration three and do the same thing here. So delete these two bodies and I'm gonna go ahead and flatten. Okay, so what I should have is my default should be the full model here. My configuration one should be that top body. Number two should be that middle body. And number three should be that bottom body shown in the flat state. That's key here. Now that our configurations are set up, it's time to save this as an assembly. I'll come up to file, make assembly from part, go ahead and choose whichever template is appropriate. And I'm gonna bring in the first configuration. You can choose which configuration to bring in here. And I'm gonna go ahead, green check mark, to get that first configuration in the assembly. Uh, here's a fun little tip. So we're gonna need to bring in this part two other times. So you can actually select this part from the design tree. You can hold down control and you can left click, hold, drag and drop to get the other instance in here as well. And I can do that again for kind of that third instance. And once I have those bodies in here, I can go ahead and select on those parts and choose the correct configuration. Let's change this one to three, green check. Now we can go up and create the nest job. Go up, hit create nest job. I'll select all three of the parts. And here you can see each one of these configurations comes in with the bend lines. Of course, you can select a sheet, add the sheet, and let's just go ahead and preview this nest. So that is how you can get bend lines with a multi-body part with nesting works.